the purpose of this video is basically kind of get us back to basics. Uh, everybody, including myself, sometimes have a, has a hard time getting back into the basics of flight planning. We just hop in the airplane and tend to uh, turn on the GPS and go direct to, and that's pretty much it. So it's always good to get back into the books and figure out how to do it the old fashioned way. So that might come in handy uh, when the lights go out, as they say, on the GPS. This is from our new seminar titled Cross Country Flight Planning Review. So essentially, we're gonna kind of run through a quick idea of how to do flight planning. So the easiest way I've seen is to graph it out. Basically what you want to do is use the acronym TV makes dumb commercials and you'll run that along your top column uh, from left to right and then on the vertical column you want to do uh, the acronym Charlotte was here and so my sister's name is Charlotte and that's just a convenient acronym. And what we'll do is we'll graph those uh, areas there of our two acronyms and start filling in the blanks. Uh, so now what we'll do is we'll start with the uh, initial line that we're gonna draw, which is just picking out on the chart and finding your two, your points and getting out the old plotter. You remember the plotter? Draw that line uh, on your chart as far as where you're going and then put your plotter there and figure out your course. That's your true course. Now, then you'll look for those dashed lines on the chart which are your lines of variation, and you'll fill that in. This will equal your magnetic core. So if you look at the graph, you can see the M and the C line come together, and that's uh, magnetic and core. So that's your magnetic course. You'll add your deviation. Where does deviation come from? Well, that's your compass card. So just for example, we'll add plus one. And then the end result is your compass course. 